Hi everybody, Joanne McInnes from Aberdeen Home Care. Today we're going to be doing a demonstration on groceries. How do you get them safely from the grocery store into your cabinet back in the kitchen? So I have my paper bag that I had all my groceries in and I left that sit out on my back porch for about a half an hour when I first got home. I came in and I got my area ready to work. So I'm putting all of my stuff from the grocery bag into the sink. The sink is going to be considered my dirty area and then I'm going to take my Lysol wipe and here's got I've got my Lysol wipe already and I'm going to be washing over each product that I have and putting it up where these towels are which becomes my clean area so you're designating a clean a dirty spot and a clean spot so just with a Lysol wipe and if you don't have these you can use paper toweling you can use a, a baby wipe like a Huggies wipe and you can just put some household cleanser the Center for Disease Control accepts any regular household cleanser as okay to use domestically so I've got my Lysol wipe which is what I prefer and this is my half and half and I'm giving this a good go over. All the areas, all the surface areas are getting a nice wipe down. And then once I'm done, this is going over to my clean area and it's going to sit there. That still feels damp and so that's just going to air dry. I have um, a mustard here in my dirty area, which is my sink. And I like to use the sink because I can really clean that when I'm finished. So I'm giving this a good wash over. And then I'm putting this over in the clean area to dry. Dog food, likewise, giving this a real good going over top and bottom, all the surfaces, and I'm gonna put that here. I've got a tin of cookies here. These are my daughter's personal favorites. So going around here, boy, this tin will be the cleanest thing in the house. There we go. Now smooth surfaces like metal are thought to hang on to the virus more quickly than a paper product. And so you just might want to give um, things that are metal, even though it's stainless steel, I know this is not that, but I just might give this a little extra going over to dry. And then I've got some pub cheese. So I'm going to give this a good going over on plastic. And I tried to pick, you know, metal, paper, and plastic containers to do a demonstration for you. So this is all nice and washed off. And there we are. So now I've got my uh, my wipe and I'm going to discard that now and since I have gloves on I can peel this glove and I can just take it off just like that and my hands are considered clean although as soon as I'm finished with the video I'm going to wash them again so here's an idea about how you get your groceries from your bag to a dirty location which can be your sink to a clean location and now these items are considered decontaminated and they're ready to go in the cabinet make friends with my other groceries I hope that's helpful for you um, I would encourage you to do that because uh, there's lots of people touching things in the grocery store that might not be wearing gloves and you're just not sure uh, what's on their hands. And if you touch that and bring that home, you could be exposing yourself. The other thing at the grocery store is to make sure that you do have your hands protected, even if you're just wearing regular gloves that you can launder, winter gloves, um, something like that, um, and a mask, something over your face. If you don't have a mask, take a scarf, Fold up some paper toweling inside that scarf, cover your nose and mouth, tie it behind your head so you have some protection. Finally, the grocery stores are starting to get on board with us and uh, their employers are providing personal protective equipment. But yesterday I was in the parking lot at Shaw's, which is near where I live, and I did see a lot of people waiting, not yesterday, the day before, waiting outside to get in because they have a maximum number of people they're allowing in the store. And I believe inside the store they're pr promoting safe distancing um, and, and physical distancing by putting lines on the floor about where you can wait to cash out and only so many people people in uh, a line at a time and one-way traffic through the aisles. So that's a place we all have to go as infrequently as possible. Ideally, you'd be going no more than once a week and you'd be very organized. You have your list, you've got some personal protective equipment, you've got gloves or you've got something on your hands, something covering your face. You go in, you get your stuff quickly and you're out. And then you follow these simple instructions about how to transition your groceries from what should be considered a dirty environment at the grocery store to the clean environment that is your refrigerator and your cabinets. I hope that's helpful. Stay healthy, keep, stay clean, keep using your stuff, wash your hands, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.